my name is Nicholas Bassard. I'm a Hank Haney Associate Instructor and Director of Instruction at NB Golf Performance Academy Mexico. In this video I'm going to talk about the most important fundamental in golf, the grip. And why it's the most important fundamental in golf? Well, that's because that's the only contact that we have with the golf club. Also, that's the primary control that we have of the club face. And the club face is going to give you where your ball is going to go. So that's why it's so important to have a good grip. Well, you have to take your time. Top hand first. I want the golf club to go right from the first knuckle of your index finger, right across that palm, right in that pad. I want you to pinch this finger a former trigger here. Oh, for a perfect neutral top hand grip, you should see no more than two knuckles. Also, the line formed by the thumb and forefinger should point right in between my right ear and my right shoulder. Oh, now that you have a good top hand grip, let's start with the bottom hand. The first thing that you have to know is that the palms should face each other each time. So I want that thumb to go right in that crease here while the golf club will run from the first to second knuckle starting from the first and second knuckle of your forefinger and it will run in an angle of the base of the finger here I want you to pinch those fingers and form a trigger here again I want to see it with both hands it's pinching and the trigger, the trigger here Now the bottom hand should always cover the top hand thumb. That's something you should really look at when you're taking your grip. Now as you can see, that's a great modeled grip that will allow you to, to work with the hands as a unit. So that's what you really want in a good grip. There are three ways you can hold your grip. You have the overlap, the interlock, and this one, I don't recommend it to you, that's the 10 finger grip or baseball grip. The one I will recommend it to you, much more than the three of them, it's the interlock, which one is used by Tiger Woods, and it was used by Jack Nicklaus. Let's talk about the pressure a little bit now. I won't hold it too light or too tight. I would hold a golf club the way that you can square the golf club easily at the impact. So a point right in between. If you have a tight grip and you see that your ball is going to the right, you probably want a lighter grip. If you see that your ball is going hooking too much, well, you probably want a, a tighter grip. So that's how you, cho you should choose your grip pressure. Now I'm going to show you some variables of the grip. Here you have the strong grip. As you can see now the lines are going more on the right. And when I will be squaring my left hand at the impact, well, you see the golf club is close. So that will give you more of a hook or a draw. Well, for a weak grip, as you can see now the lines are going more on the left side. So when I will be squaring my left hand at the impact, well, the golf club will be open, so that's going to give you more of a slice of a, or a fade. That's why I recommend to you to have a neutral grip that will allow you to square the golf club with consistency at the impact. Because when, when you will be squaring your left hand at the impact, well, the golf club will be square much more time. Well, that was Nicolas Boissart. I hope this tip will help you for a game and I see you later for another tip.